Good day, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And welcome to Immigrant, Immigrant Montana. That's the name of this little place out here on 89 of about of approximately 25 miles due south of Livingston, Montana. And this is video number 17, I think, in my series of let's get out of the house, let's beat coronavirus, let's don't cave in to COVID-19, let's jump, jibe, and whale kind of deal. Okay, what I'm going to do from here, I'm just sitting at this great big convenience store here at Immigrant Montana. This is a very small little community, by the way. But I'm driving out to Chico Hot Springs from here. Let's go. We're burning daylight. I've done lots of videos on Chico, but I thought I'd just do one where I'm driving from Immigrant to Chico. Chico Hot Springs. I do believe it's shut down, too. Okay, here we go. Let's stop burning daylight here. Put this thing in gear. I still can't get over this gearing in this Dodge, man. That, that shift knob there cracks me up. That thing. You know, never been in a pickup that just had a big old knob to put in gear, but it works good. There as I can tell. Anyway, right up there is 89, US 89, where you see all that concrete up there. You know, you see the old saloon across. But anyway, that's 89. But we're going to go up here, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a big convenience store that they have sitting out here and I'm going to hang a left and we're going to be hitting uh, what is it East River Road 540 US 540 yeah, that's what I'm talking about and that mountain that you see back there is Immigrant Peak one of them back there anyway I've never climbed Immigrant Peak so there's a couple of them that are real close to each other I kind of get them mixed up a little bit, you know what I mean? Anyway, we're headed out to Chico Hot Springs. And I think it's kind of a crying shame. When I was scratching, trying to dream up places to go today on my road trip, the uh, wife gently reminded me, well, she said, you know, Chico was closed. And I go, well, yeah, well, there's the Yellowstone River right there. Okay. What else? What isn't closed? You know, it's pretty bad when they've got a landmark business. I'm telling you, man, Chico Hot Springs has been in business for like, I don't know, four or five generations, way back into the mining days, you know. And to have some place like Chico shut down, almost a crying shame, as far as I'm concerned. Now, well, you know, but yeah, this is just a little connecting road that, you know, connect us up here where we can turn off and go to, you know, like I say, Chico Hot Springs. It's shut down. I'm not even too all together too. I'm not even sure if I can go down the access road or not, but we're going to be hanging a lap up here. Uh, yeah, you know, they've even got, look at this sign right there. We've even got signs that kind of direct you towards, you know, Places like Chico, world famous. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody should know that, you know. That's, that's uh, Immigrant Peak right there, I do believe. Either that or the one on the left. Anyway, we're going to hang a left here. I don't really know how, um, man, like I say, I don't know. I don't know if these videos do people much good or not, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying. You know, like I say, I think this is video number 17. I think on these series of videos, I'm probably, I'm, I know I'm not going to do more than 30 videos, more than likely only about 20, because you know, I'm kind of running out. It's not that I'm running out of places to go, but the places that I, you know, where if I want to start stretching myself out, I'm going to have to start driving more. And if I start driving more, it's going to start costing me money. And I'm cheap. <laughs> That's why I record stuff just around here, if you know what I mean. Right here. This sign right here has probably been viewed by... I wish I could have a dollar for every time somebody's ever viewed this sign right there. Right there. Chico Hot Springs. Okay. I got to watch it here. These fools are... 
let me turn in here like this and get something squared around here. I got to get my, there we go. Okay, just on down this road, hang on, don't get nervous. On Just on down this road a mile or a couple miles is Chico Hot Springs. Yeah, that's Immigrant Peak right back up there. I've always wanted to climb that bugger, but you know, uh, lately in my old age, I kind of got out of this. You know, I run into some stomach problems and accolation. I had to have surgery and all kinds of stuff. And so kind of slowed me down, but I'm 68 years old. I'm no spring chicken. Anyway, this COVID-19 and this coronavirus is, a, is, you know, personally myself, the wife and I were talking about this morning. And man, I'm telling you, man, this deal here is not good. You know, I know it's dampened a lot of spirits, screwed up a lot of small businesses, put a lot of people out of work. I'm just sitting here to tell you that this mess can't, can't not continue. There, let me give you another shot of Immigrant Peak. Immigrant Peak, Immigrant Peak, Montana, ladies and gentlemen, just as simple as that. Right below it, Chico Hot Springs, right ahead of us. See how many minutes I got on this file? Six minutes. Yeah, I figured this might be a pretty good little drive. So you can see that we're only talking like what? Five or six miles from Immigrant Montana over to Chico. You just, you know, turn off a US 89, go across the bridge there, the Yellowstone River, the Immigrant Bridge, hang a left on 540, hit this access road, and there you are. Now I'm going to take an roll down this window right here so yeah I gotta be kind of careful because boy this wind shear it really makes for a lot of noise RVs please no overnight blah 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 there you go oh, for you folks who have never been to Chico well don't tell me yeah now this is a world famous uh, kind of a dude ranch, hotel, bar, restaurant, cabins. I think they tennis, spa, horse, back riding, all kinds of stuff goes on out here in Chico. Yeah. I'm going to take you by the old, by the, there's the hotel proper. It's a multi-million dollar property out here, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. You know? Kind of going by here kind of slow. I'm glad I ain't got a lot of traffic. There's a gift shop right there. Where we got the Flying Pig Adventures. I have no idea what that is. And of course, what Chico's probably the most famous for is their swimming pool up here. But you can't see it. Not from right here anyway, but let me just make sure I... Right there, yeah. Chico Hot Springs and Resort. There. But anyway, there's natural springs that comes in. 92 degrees. It's This water is not treated at all. It's my understanding that even the swimming pool is shut down because of this stupid coronavirus thing that they don't even know is a virus, by the way. That's the latest scuttle button. There's part of the inn. Like I say, they got cabins out here. Uh, I think you can even rent teepees. <laughs> Boy, here's a place where they sweep up the eyeballs at midnight. No, I'm just kidding. They got secu they actually got security out here, but if you want to wet, wet your whistle, this is a place to do it. Right there. This is a Chico Saloon, but inside of that building is another building that doesn't have a roof on it, and that's where the hot spring slash swimming pool is. And have I been in there? Yeah, yeah, lots, well, lots and lots of times, but I've been in there, so, yeah. I'm gonna turn around here because there's no use in going back there. There's just no use in, but yeah, the swimming pool, I've always wanted to come out here and record this swimming pool. Actually, the swimming pool is right through, right through that door right there. I should probably jump out. <laughs> Somebody probably nailed me. I can see a sign there saying 
closed, but yeah, just on the other side of that door right there is a swimming pool. It's kind of kind of world famous, if you will. Okay, let me. Uh, well, I tell you, I'm still getting used to this pickup. Let me put it in reverse here. That backup camera there, that's kind of a nice deal. It really is. It. My old Titan, I I smashed the back end of my pickup one time because I didn't. My sensors didn't go off, and there was a steel mailbox back there. And well, anyway. But yeah, okay. Let me park that down there. Turn this camera around. Let me see something here. Let me make sure I'm in focus here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I realize that this coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 miserable mess is getting on everybody's nerves. I know it's getting on my nerves and I'm retired, you know. And the simple fact of the matter is what I'm really not liking right now is all the conspiracy theories that conspiracy theories that are springing up about this this I mean I even watched a group of doctors were debating with each other why in the world that somebody what was the research that led people to say in coronavirus see there 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 there's even theory out there that this, that this epidemic pandemic might not even be a, a a virus it could be a bacteria whatever personally myself i've got my own homespun ideas but i've got no medical facts to back it up but i have definitely got my own theory about what's going on with this corona disease that's what i would rather call it that until they can start providing answers like where did this thing originate from I mean, yeah, sure, everybody's blaming it on China, but did this thing come out of a lab? Did, did you know, or it, did it crawl out of a sewer somewhere? Or did somebody, it, you know, invent the corona disease? That's where I'm, that's about what I'm starting to believe, but I'm not going to throw my hat in that particular ring. But I definitely got my suspicions that this corona disease is probably not what they're saying it is. And I just know one thing, this thing has got to get fixed. It's got to get fixed in a quick hurry and America's got to go back to work. There's no way that this economy and the way that I understand the free enterprise system and I've been watching it all my life, no way, no way are we gonna make it if Americans don't go back to work. Ladies and gentlemen, have faith, be of good cheer, be strong, be tough, be bold in the face of this corona disease. Hope you enjoy this little trip today. And uh, we shall see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends. Boop.